I wanted to write music from a, 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 a joyful place instead of a heartbreak, angsty place. And so I guess when you're going to that creative, fun space, you go, you revisit your past. And I listened to heaps of um, girl bands in the car when I was younger. And then also, you know, bands like Cindy Lauper and stuff. Each song on the record is different. It's a bit of everything. Dark disco. 60s girl band. Yeah, and then a bit of 80s. <laughs> In the old days, Kate used to just wait for her heart to be broken and then she'd write a song about it. I wasn't in love with anyone and so I had to, yeah, like write songs about other stuff. <laughs> I guess a lot of acts I've worked with come from varying stages of preparation. In this stage, some things were kind of ready, some things were not. The guys had sort of demoed some ideas together, but I kind of felt like the um, true character of Kate Vigo as an artist hadn't really been surfaced yet. I kind of always think once you build a world creatively, then it becomes very quick to work out what doesn't work in that world. Once we kind of got on the run, it all started to happen. He made me realise things about some of the songs that I just hadn't yeah. considered, and as a result of the collaboration with Jan, I think we've got a really strong album. We gave Jan some time to kind of do his thing to it, mm. and then listening back to, you know, Jan's thing, um, of Kate's thing, um, which was... And then we made our thing of Jan's thing of Jan's Kate's thing, thing and then we got... Jan's thing of Kate's and now it's thing, the ultimate thing. thing. I think that's that's the thing that defines this album is that it's an album of great songs and they've all got a, a, a connection to one another, even though there's an array of emotions that it kind of travels through. For me, the aim of this album was to create, a, well, create an album that I would enjoy listening to and want to like dance around to in my lounge room.